Hey guys, good morning from Dhaka, Bangladesh. I'm back with another fragrance review today and this fragrance review is going to be courtesy of one of my brothers who lent me his bottle from the house of Prada. We're going to be looking at Prada Luna Rosa, the original one. I have covered a lot of Luna Rosa and a lot of Prada fragrance on my channel in my journey. I have few others uh, from this line, um, like uh, example would be Prada Luna Rosa Sport. Uh, I have a review Prada Luna Rosa Black. This one, the bottle is almost finished. <clears throat> and then ultimate masterpiece will be Prada, Prada, <laughs> Prada Luna Rosa Extreme. So I have also reviewed Prada Luna Rosa Carbon and I believe they have a couple more in this line. So Prada Luna Rosa basically, uh, as my brother told me, it's a Luna Rosa, it's basically a sports team. They go for sailing and stuff. So that's how this fragrance line is themed on. And this original one is basically the framework, basic framework or for the other ones, right? So hopefully I can, I've been testing it for some time, I have it on my hand and I can see that dry down. It's pretty pleasant perfume. Uh, so let's hit the review. Uh, but before I do, my scent of the night is my new baby. Uh, this is something I wanted for a long time. I've been testing. This is Carolina Herrera 212 Men Wild Party. Okay, this perfume here. So this is very beast mode, amazing, a little discontinued gem there. I'll review that soon. So here you go. Prada Luna Rosa, I mean, uh, this particular perfume, I think this one comes in 50 and 100 ml. Those are the bottles that I am uh, aware of. I'm not sure about the other ones. This is how the packaging looks. Nice little red line. Uh, Luna Rosa EDT concentration back some more information up there the red thing continues kind of like sporty uh, kind of box and here is where you're gonna find your batch code so which should match the one you find in your bottle the bottle is pretty nice it looks like just like other Luna Rosa line but uh, Luna Rosa <laughs> Luna Rosa line but this one it's a little bit different than the others this one has this chromish uh, casing up top this I believe is gunmetal plate or plastic either one it has Prada here and then this caps they have this unnecessary caps I believe they stop it from spraying but not really big fan of it, it looks like cough syrup kind of a bottles cap and when you put it on it won't spray and then the juice level you can tilt it this way and you can see how much you have left and then under there is the sticker sprayer atomizer is pretty good the spray inside if you scared for fakes it's gonna have red inside all right so let me show you the sprayer once again and uh, I'll talk about it um, this sprayer is quite decent amount of juice, very good atomizer. I would say prices on these are, I think, uh, you're looking at somewhere between $55 to $75, depending on where you buy them from, for a big bottle like this. So this perfume, it's pretty familiar. This is, if you know Prada House, it's going to come as like a very, uh, not surprising at all sort of a perfume. It's very fresh. Uh, it's pretty uh, kind of like soapy, but not all the way. It's very fresh, clean and uh, inoffensive like the way Prada makes fragrances. So Prada has the Prada Amber line, Prada Loam line, they have the Infusion line, they have the Niche line and then they have this Luna Rosa line. So what I think of these fragrances, I think it's the opening, it's really pleasant. It does remind me of all those other flankers that I showed you. I'll put the links below of the reviews, so you can check them out. So it has that sort of a powdery sort of feel. Uh, what kind of powdery? The powdery vibe comes from the lavender. It also has mint up top when you spray for the first time. It has sort of like a fresh, very sharp sort of opening that comes from the bitter orange. So the mint, bitter orange, and I believe the lavender mixes with amber, uh, kind of like uh, ambroxan, and I believe there is some woody notes or something like that. That's basically the very basic framework of this perfume. So it does get a little bit like Burberry touch also. And on the dry down, it does get, I don't know, I get similarity between this and Xenia Vomo. Xenia Wu has also a similarity to uh, Loam, uh, I think not all team, Loam Libra because of the violet note. On the dry down, they have kind of similar, kind of similarity. So if you like the dry down of this, you can definitely try the Prada. But uh, I think this specialty of this fragrance is how simple it is. It's just for everybody out there. It has kind of like this fresh vibe up top. That mint is very crisp, but very sharp and kind of like a fruity, citrusy opening zingy, kind of peppery, kind of like imagine like peppery, kind of like a green. I think there's clary, clary sage in this. That's the green part of it. So clary sage sometimes does smell like violets to me. I don't know why. So perhaps with the clary, clary sage on dry down that reminds me of Xenia Womo that I also feel similar to this. Uh, it will appeal to anybody. I mean, if you 
ask what age this should be uh, appropriate for any age school good for school inoffensive decent lasting power not very big mode by the way this is not as big mode as the prada lunar or the black or extreme or even the sport one lasts a long time this one it's about total longevity i got from this is 4 hours and half in summer days on my skin on shirt in the ac room perhaps you can get a little bit better seasons for this is uh, i feel summer and spring uh you can also wear this for gym um uh, pretty good in offense no one is going to be complaining right so this one doesn't have the pungent lavender harsh lavender this has the clean soapy lavender okay so the fragrance is pretty good for daily usage office work professional gyms sporty after shower that's the kind of uh like a uh, occasion i see you pulling it off is it a masterpiece no there are a lot of fragrances does this prada lom does this better last a little bit longer but that one has a little bit better um i mean not better more expensive price tag but you know 55 to 65 dollars odd a decent release prada lunar rosa carmen is pretty good smells like sauvage and stuff so this line all in all it's somewhere like a safe zone something like think of coach uh, for men you know fragrance like that so this one it's like that safe pleasant nobody is going to complain but you're not going to get like wow what you wearing right you're not going to get head turning effect like wow ultra male lanuit alum no this one doesn't do sexy this one does fresh clean crisp and safe that's what this one does so if you like those kind of perfumes you don't want to take too much risk i would highly recommend prada luna rosa pretty decent release and of course the credit goes to this one the original one for the other flankers so check it out longevity projection everything combined i'm going to give this 7 and 1/2 out of 10 because it smells really really pleasant and very fresh uplifting kind of smell okay but not very unique so that's prada luna rosa for you thank you very much for watching tomorrow perhaps i'll do one more review if i feel like it i'll do one more tonight see you soon good night